What a world. Yeah. Right, anyway, we've got two more points. So let's get them. Let's get them. Yeah. What is yours, man? Yeah. Mine is that, uh, like, we, I mean, it feels like a weird contrast because my bad point was that Forrest isn't actually going to be playing or he hasn't been playing for a while so maybe i should just be happy for this but i, I just i just put it in the ugly category that the fact that kirby is joining up with dennis law and three guys from the middle east in order to play the asian quality the most random lineup ever created i actually agree yeah. with m's is mental this lineup and it's like what it's like you just yeah. pick names out of the heart it's mental this lineup. <laughs> Sure, sure. Isa has been competing, I think, in the Asia region recently. But then his teammates are Hussein and Osama. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave that there. Like, bro. There, and then he's bro. playing. Can I get? Can I get? Can, marketing department. Hey, uh, I need to have a word with you. <laughs> <laughs> I just. <laughs> what, bro? What about? In that case, some player, some people playing them should just rename to Seal Team Six. Just do it already. You know, like <laughs> it's a pretty good joke. Pretty base joke. If you know that one, anyway. Whatever. It's all, it's all good. I'm not. I just. I'm leaving it there. I'm leaving. I'll leave you take it. I'll leave you take that one. Good. But those are those are his teammates' names. Yeah, and he's playing. He's playing in the Asian qualifier. And um, the thing is, like you know, I guess I guess it's like this is a cake and have it too, cake and eat it too kind of moment for me, where I'm like, oh, I want Forrest to play again. But right. you know, I, the thing is, I would want him to play for like an eyeballers. I'd be okay with that. I'd be okay with him playing for like uh, you know some kind of tier two team in in Europe or whatever. And then Kirby comes back. He's making, he's making his comeback now and he's doing it with, yeah, this just completely random team. And he, the last things that Kirby has played are just like completely random events under different, different teams here and there. Like he played with Endpoint for a, a, a while in 2022, yep. Yep. but he didn't really play too much in 2023. And I think, and this is this is a tangent, and this is more of just a joke or anything. But then the the worst part about all of this is that when Kirby's tweet was announcing that he's joining Gigi How, he says trying hard in show matches brings you opportunities, and it's like don't take show matches Fucking away from hell. us already. Like stop trying and like my okay. least favorite thing of doing is when I'm when I'm tasked with working a show match or even talking about it in any respect, and I just see that everybody's just try harding. Like the fun of a show match is when everybody has ten sure. nineties and they're all running at each other. At least it's more yes. interesting. 10 scouts like that's why the blast show matches are good i don't want like try harding in show matches one you're ruining show matches Kirby. two you're joining a team that is just like this is just an obvious attempt at a cash grab at qualifying for the major through the asian region like come on like if i want to see you like if you want to play yourself back up in the shape again like do it with a european team in tier two please come on not what do you think krb that's man that's one of the craziest career fall-offs that, that oh, for sure. like from from Charles to this team, but I thought he retired, so he just came back and just playing like, ca I would I would guess this would would be casually, right? Yeah, I don't even know what's going on, but I guess I mean this would be his best chance to qualify to the major, right? With this random stack in at the Asia RMR compared to the other RMRs. What do you think I about guess. Maui's point though of like the the idea that what made him relevant enough for them to see him was just playing in a show match? <laughs> what do you think of that? If that's true, well, what was the point again with the show match? The idea is it's just a, playing a, in it is why they signed him to the team. They just watched him play there. Oh, that's Maui's that's guys. ridiculous. That that can't. It might be, be a joke. There's no but... way. No. <laughs> and the problem is though, esports is esports. Like I wouldn't 100 percent put it past, but you know, like I feel like that has to be like a 10 percent chance that's real. You know what I mean? Maybe even more. Yeah. Maybe I'm being generous. Maybe say like a forty percent chance it's real. What do you think? It, it, it's a, it's tongue in cheek, but like the thing is that all jokes to even be remotely funny have to be rooted in some truth. So well, yeah, the obvious follow up would be if that if the joke answer isn't, well, then why? How did they sign him? Like as you see, he yeah. he's played for fuck all for years now, right? He's played it the, the brand, the brand name, probably. I honestly. guess, yeah. yeah. True. Oh, I'll say about this one is obviously if that was true, that is a nonsense reason. Like your show match is absolutely worthless to show how good you are, what your level is, and all that jazz. And I agree with Maui. If anything, if that was real, it would just ruin show matches. Like at that point, people would just literally like the joke would be like in matchmaking when someone on your team when you just bait on the one v four and you take forever and they go, it's not the fucking major final. I don't want people playing show matches like that. Like like you say, Maui, you want people in the show match to be willing to die, to get knifed, to play with stupid guns, to go for. By the way, if you're actually an older player like this, a retired one, if anything, you want, we want you. To just go ham like if you're Kenny Essie play so much do like a 316 all scope for real like that is actually what yeah. we're here to see we're not here to see you like hold the correct off angle like she and then reposition back and get a 2k and then save like that that's not what we're here for like we're here for a show the, the clues in the fucking share the show match shows something you are supposed to perform and entertain us here and then just on the Kirby angle I actually do think the saddest thing is if people don't know the reason Kirby's drop off is so mental is I'll look it up now but dude I'm gonna go ahead and guess as I look 
this up that he's like 25 himself. He's not even that old. Let me have a look. How old is he? Kirby is 26 years old. That's not even the end of your career necessarily. And by the way, if you remember early on, one of the whole things about this guy, hence why he had that famous meme that he like shook a lot when he sprayed, is he actually had pretty like sort of streaky, but it could be really good aim. He actually had like talents. It was clear like he had rifle skills. The sad thing for him is it was such a gradual decline for me. If he'd have just been like bad and something had happened in his life or, you know, he did quit the game or something, that would be more logical. I actually do think the saddest thing is it really is just like a graph that just gradually goes down over time and it just eventually goes to the point where it becomes irrelevant so and this what i don't get is i agree with you maui this actually has to be paired like a forest thing like if people are going to say forest can still play yeah i know kirby was never forest but he was good around the same time forest was like why couldn't 26 year old kirby be a relevant player by the way those names i listed earlier why can't he be an og or ents or a fanatic or a naples why can't he right so i do feel like unfortunately that mixed with the fact that you read out the list, like the jokes write themselves. Like that list is fucking ridiculous, guys. Like that's a meme that lineup. So sadly, it does just look like what you actually did was you still want to be in esports. Maybe you don't want to work a real job. And someone said to you, because the one upside that people won't get is this. I would imagine the Chinese team does have money though. Like I'd imagine they're paying you like a not bad salary to just be in this team and potentially try and qualify to the major, like you say. So, but it just seems like I mean, it's almost a meme that you're even playing like this, isn't it? Like, is this a real comeback? Are you really trying to, like, turn your career around? And then, you know, this is a stepping stone, and then you make the major, and then you are on fucking Fnatic, or, you, I mean, the joke... I, I tell you what, here's one that people think I'm aiming on. Someone like Kirby should actually be trying to get into a team like Blade with Kassad. That's the sort of team where you go to resurrect your career, mate, and he can maybe find a role for you, and then he hooks you up with some of the players, you know? So I just hope this isn't just, like, he comes back, plays with them, they don't make the major, they fuck off, and then he's just never playing again. That would be whack. Like, I actually, what's sad about this player is, I also feel like he's one where maybe people meme on him because he intentionally left Astralis and they had the GOAT era without him. But, like, no one could know that was going to happen. So I actually have to say, I always felt quite sad about the way his career went. I actually hoped this would be a player that would kind of have, like, a, like at least, like, a decent length of career. Like, he didn't have to be amazing, but he could have been, like, you know, the 26th best player in the world. Like, he was a good player. Right see more cool funny interesting clips based on topics from my content well subscribe to this channel then or you know be a pleb and don't